What's that? What Nikki said? Put the cookie on quarantine. Cookie's been on quarantine, but like. <laughs> Coronavirus! Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is, I'm scared, like. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be another DIY video, another do it yourself because like I said, I, I wanna claim DIY queen. There's a lot of DIY queens, but I wanna claim DIY queen. Like I wanna, I want that title too, you know? Like I wanna be a part of that squad, you know? Like I be doing a lot of stuff myself. So I just feel like, hello, can I be DIY queen as well? Hello. <laughs> Today's video, if I, I would be lying if I said my chest was it, you know, my heart wasn't pumping out my chest right now because I'm nervous, you know, like. Let me give you guys some backstory. I've been waxing myself, wax my face, like my, I usually wax my eyebrows and my upper lip. I've been doing that since I was probably like 15. My mom has always had like um the heated wax that you can just like heat yourself whether you do it over the stove or the electric one she eventually like upgraded to the electric heater but she's always had that in the house ever since like i was a small small child and i just always remember like watching her at least once a month go into the bathroom heat up her wax and wax herself so when i got to the age where hair started to grow on my face i started to get a little mustache started to get a little unibrow my eyebrows got bushy i was like it's time for me to start waxing hello and she obviously helped me at first kind of taught me the ropes taught me the do's and don'ts because she's been doing it like forever um, and then eventually I got comfortable enough to just do it by myself to where I didn't need her help. I didn't have to do it with my mommy. So, you know, I've been doing that since I was like 15. I'm 23 now. So I feel very comfortable waxing my upper lip, waxing my eyebrows. I've even done my armpits like once or twice before, but I don't know, like I typically just shave them because it's a lot easier and a lot less painful, obviously. But for today's video, I'm going to be waxing. For the first time ever like i'm literally <laughs> i'm so scared because i'm such a baby like i'm such a baby when it comes to pain i cannot uh, i can't take pain so this was something that i want like i've wanted to get it waxed before because obviously the hair grows back a lot slower it grows back thinner over time the more that you wax um and you have to do like you don't have to do it as much like i have to shave like maybe like once every two weeks um and with waxing it's more so like once every month or once every six weeks so i've wanted to do it but i've just been really scared because i know like i'm a baby so please just give me a thumbs up just because like i'm attempting this you know like and i'm scared i'm honestly scared <sighs> i'm gonna start off with my armpits Cause those is crazy. I haven't wa um I haven't shaved in about a month, so my arm is very okay. Like they a little scary. Um, for anybody that's like squeamish or grossed out by body hair or anything like that, click off this video. I don't even know why you're here. Like don't even do it. Like don't even watch. Don't even leave a comment. Just click off. But if you want to see me cry because I'm in pain, then I guess keep watching and uh, you know around okay so i just want to show you guys what i what my little setup is right here right here so this is my heated my wax heater the family wax heater actually we all use this but this is my wax heater it has a nozzle with the intensity it goes all the way up to six on and off button and then you know light so you know that it's on and then that's what it looks like on the inside these are the wax beads that I'm currently using. This was like, it was another, um, I think the, it is, honestly doesn't matter, but this little tin was like another kind of wax, but then when it got empty, started to fill it up with these wax beads. I will have everything linked down below in the description box. I purchased this off of Amazon. I believe this is also from Amazon as well. If I can find the exact link, I'll link it down below. But honestly, any wax heater, just look at the one with the good reviews, okay? 
these are the non-strip ones so you don't have to use the like the cloth strips with it you can just use it on its own and then you're definitely gonna need some baby powder I'll show you guys and tell you guys why in a minute I have this little baggie with some wooden popsicle sticks these are the smaller ones that I have and then I have some of the thicker ones to cover like a wider surface area turn on my wax heater I'm gonna put it on I have it on five just to melt the wax I actually need to go in and add more because there's really not that much in there so I'm gonna pour some more in yeah that should do if I have to add more I'll just add more later and then you just want to cover it back up so that everything can like heat up <laughs> so our wax is starting to melt it's been like maybe like three minutes it doesn't take that long for it to melt okay so wax is melted <sighs> about to show you guys my hairy ass armpits oh my god oh my god mm. this is like oh this is so candid okay Ooh, this is like <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, anyway, period, we're past that. We're grown-ups, we're women, we're grown-ups, hair is hair. Who cares? Everybody has it. <laughs> Who cares? Anyway, you're gonna take your baby powder. You need baby powder or not yeah, you need baby powder. Um you wanna put it on the area that you're about to wax because it helps dry up the area like so there's no oils there so that the wax can really like stick around the hair follicle and grip that hair strand and pull it out of the follicle when you pull it okay so that's why you need the baby powder i saw someone using cornstarch um i mean you, i guess you could use that too so but i mean baby powder is like easily accessible but i guess if you don't have baby powder you want to use um cornstarch um and in preparation for waxing you do want to exfoliate the day before that you decide to wax it's going to help like any dead skin and like loose hairs just come out of the follicles prep the skin before you're about to wax but you want to do it a whole day before so i exfoliated yesterday in the shower um in preparation for today okay period um, you're supposed to apply the wax in the direction that the hair grows. Mine kind of goes down and then you're supposed to pull it in the opposite direction that it grows. So since mine grows down, I have it on six. I'm going to turn it down because I don't want to burn myself. You want the temperature of the wax to be like, you don't want it to burn. Like when it touches your skin, you just want it to be warm. Not too hot. That's the consistency. It's a little liquidy, but it's gonna start to cool down and that'll be fine. I just don't like waxing. Like, I understand that it's something that you have to do. Ooh, ooh, I know this is gonna hurt. Ooh, I know this is gonna hurt. And you wanna make sure that you leave like a little lip for the wax. Ooh, that's hot. I have it too hot. I have it way too hot. Ooh, that's too hot. Yo, this is hurt i didn't even leave a lip i'm telling you guys to leave a lip and i didn't leave one something to grab onto you don't want to make it too thin because then you won't have anything to grab onto you know oh and you saw how i was pulling my armpit taunt yeah you want to pull the skin tight i just know this is gonna hurt okay i know it's gonna hurt like i know it's gonna hurt but it's okay because you're a bad bitch it's okay oh my gosh i'm such a baby it's hard but like i don't want to rip it off i hate pain why am i doing this to myself for views you won't <sighs> so you want to peel up a little piece like that say a little prayer <laughs> <sighs> Ew. Okay, I'm gonna apologize. 
Oh my gosh, I'm gonna apologize in advance, but y'all need to see this. This is so gross though. Ew. Look at all the hairs. You can see the little like balls at the end of the hairs. That's the follicle, like the hair literally being ripped out of the follicle. That is so fucking gross. Ew, it feels like. <laughs> okay, and I have a little bleeding, that's normal. That was like, okay, on a, little, on a scale of 1 to 10, pain-wise, that was like a, that was like a 6, you know? When I do my eyebrows, it's like a 2, and when I do my lip, it's like a 4. Pull your, pull the skin. And when you apply it, apply some pressure, like push that bitch in there, you know? Oh my gosh, I hate being a woman. I mean, I love it, but I hate it, you know? Like, damn. Okay, come on, let's do this, let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. I just know I'm making bad faces in this video throughout this whole video. Ready? One, two, three. Whew. After that first initial one, the area kind of became numb, so. I'm gonna just pull the skin. That shit was not cute. Oh my gosh. I'm really gonna do this to my coochie. <laughs> okay, ready? Eep, eep, eep. Ready, one, two. Mm. Yes. Yes, mama Shita. Wow, I really waxed my armpit. We love it. We love it. <laughs> I did this one good, but oh well. Oh my gosh. Pain. Beauty is pain. Beauty is pain. No, you know when it's for. Ooh, baby. Ooh, ready? Ready? Jesus. Oh God. Yo, this that's gonna hurt. Okay, I got it out. Their armpits are so smooth. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, no. Now what's the time we've all been waiting for? I'm sitting down. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm doing this. Oh my boy. What's that, what Nikki said? Put the cookie on quarantine? Cookie's been on quarantine, but like, Some things, your hair is supposed to be at least um, rice length, so the length of a grain of rice, apparently, you know? So, that's how long mine is, take my beard powder, and I'm powdering this bitch out, you know? Hey girl, how you doing? Are you okay, big mama? <laughs> that's from a TikTok, I do not call my shit. <laughs> Pain, beauty is pain, beauty is pain, beauty is The hair grows, like my hair grows down, so I'm gonna apply it that way, but then I'm gonna pull up, right? Yeah. Oh, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna fucking hurt. This is gonna hurt. I know this is gonna hurt. Dang, we're gonna have to go in sections, small sections at that. 
me, baby Jesus, why did I do this to myself? Why did I do this to myself? For what? Girl, you could have just shaved. I'm literally gonna go through popsicle sticks like crazy. I'm listening to Kehlani, cause I'm trying to be like, Again, it's normal to bleed when you're ripping the hair out. It's called, I think it's called pinpoint, ne um, pin pinpoint needling, pinpoint bleeding. I'm gonna put it on the screen, but it's regular, it's normal, okay? Um, at the end, we're gonna just put some coconut oil, you know, some shea butter. Let's do the bottom. <laughs> I don't even know how I'm supposed to do my booty area because. See it. For some reason, I feel like this area is not gonna hurt. I mean, I know it's gonna hurt, but I don't think it's gonna hurt like that, like that, you know? I'm gonna put both sides down so that I can't chicken out and be like, no, I'm just not gonna do the other side or rip off the other side. <sighs> Cause I know myself. Aw, she's gonna look so cute though. <laughs> so nobody could see it. <laughs> Please excuse mm, just me altogether. My shit is like two rice grains length long. Like, oh, 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 she finna be so smooth. transition on open though to passionate can we fucking talk about it this is a different type of this is a different level of diy like if you give yourself waxes i really commend you like hats off to you bitch i think i could maybe now that i've actually felt the pain like i think i can actually go and get a wax by someone but i don't think i can inflict this kind of pain on myself every month i'm not that much of a psychopath <laughs> Okay, I'm about to do one of the lips. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna lay both of them down, but it's, it's time. but I was saying I'm up to the last part. I left the most painful part for last. It's like 20% left. But it's like right at the top, you know that part. <laughs> I'm gonna just go and get someone to do it for me because I can't do this to myself. Okay. I can't. 
can't do it. It hurts too much. Mm. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm gonna start crying. I can feel it. Yo, that's really the most painful part. Like, that ass is the most painful part. it's coming you know like you're you know when you're gonna pull so it's like you're anticipating it as opposed to i feel like somebody else was doing it i wouldn't be able to anticipate the pain she would just rip that shit off and it would also be going i've been doing this for like over an hour now because i'm sitting here like contemplating life and if i just want to walk around with hard wax on my coochie because i don't want to peel it off like okay so i just finished I'm actually really proud of myself. Like, I didn't think that I was gonna be able to finish. At one point, I really wanted to give up and there was still hard wax on me, like, and I wanted to give up. I think mine was tougher for me because my hair was a little bit too long. It wasn't like crazy long, but it was longer than it probably should have been. So there was that. Um, would I do it again? I would definitely get waxed again. I love the results. Kitty is looking cute. Too bad nobody could see it, but like, <laughs> not too bad. The cookies on quarantine. No, but seriously, um, it looks really cute. It's just painful. So I would do it again because I love the results, but I don't think I would do it to myself. Like, if you give yourself your own Brazilian waxes, like, round of applause, like, shout out to you because, sis, I don't think I could do this again. Like, if you guys enjoyed watching my pain and, you know, just... Yeah, if you guys enjoyed watching me in pain, then give this video a thumbs up down below. Like, give me a thumbs up down below, because this was really hard for me. I love you guys. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and join the fam. We just hit 27K! Yo, I will be doing a 30K giveaway, so make sure you guys, you know, stay tuned for that. If you're subscribed, then you, you'll know when that's coming up. Just to get back to you guys, because you know, I love you guys so much. Appreciate every last one of you. Don't forget, you are smart, you are beautiful, and people love you. I love you, and I can't wait to see you at my next upload. Bye.